everyone! Today we read The Very Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carle, and through his beautiful artwork, he took us on the journey of a day in the life of a grouchy ladybug. The grouchy ladybug recalled his day hour by hour. It's so wonderful for children to have the opportunity to retell the story of their day. Today, during Kindergarten Roundup, I'm gonna show you how you can make a schedule for your child and a clock using a paper plate, some markers, and some construction paper. This is a great activity to have all the family gather around and do this together. Everybody can have their own schedule or their own clock. A schedule and a routine is a great thing for all children to have. It's great for adults too, but I highly recommend a schedule for your child that's entering kindergarten, especially if this is their first time to be at school. Schedules help children ease anxieties. They don't plan their day typically. They don't always know what's going to happen. So having that visual for them really helps them feel safe and secure. Let's start with the clock. I'm going to put the paper plate and this black paper aside, and I'm going to focus on writing the numbers. Great thing for your child to do. These are numbers one through 12, so it's perfect for your child entering kindergarten and exiting. Can you say the numbers as I write them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, two more. 11, one more. 12. We are limited in space with our plate, so we don't want to have huge numbers. If this is overwhelming to your child to have all of this space, you can draw a circle and have them write their number in the circle. That way, it's not too big. I went ahead and cut out all my numbers, and I want you to notice the shapes I used. I decided to use a pattern, square, circle, square, circle. This is a great way to get some more math in. You can have patterns in different colors, different shapes, anything you want. It's also a great time for your child to practice their cutting skills. Remember that circle that I drew? Well, you can easily do this in different shapes and just have them cut around. Now it's time to glue the numbers on the plate. To help your child with number placement, you can look at a clock you have at home. If you don't have an analog clock, you can draw one. The numbers are on there secure, and now it's time to draw the hands. I'm going to use this black paper to draw the large hand and the small hand. All right, here are my hands. Now, I have to secure them to this paper plate. A lot of times at the library or at school, we would use brass brads for that. But who has those around the house? So I was thinking, what could I do to secure this and what can you do at home? Well, most of us have a needle and a thread. So I'm going to sew the hands on. Before I do that, I want to make it a little more stable. So I'm going to take some of the black paper and I'm going to cut out a circle that I can put behind the hands. I'm going to glue the circle to the middle of the clock. We wanna make sure it's in the middle as best we can get it. <laughs> it's not perfect, but what is in kindergarten, right? I don't wanna glue my hands on because I wanna be able to move them. So what I'm going to do is just cross them at the top, make sure that they're overlapping, set those aside, going to take my needle 
and I want to come up through the bottom of the plate. So I can just make out where the center of my circle is on my plate. And there we go. Parents, this is a great way to get your child familiar with a needle and a thread. Um, it's quite difficult to do, so they will need some help with it. Um, but you can even show them how to sew on a button or sew two pieces of fabric together. Be careful not to sew the hands on too tight. If they're too tight, you won't be able to move them. After I'm confident that my hands are secure, I'm just going to use some tape and put that on the stitch in the back. Now you're ready to practice telling time. What time is it? It's seven o'clock. What time is it now? It's three o'clock. How cute is our analog clock? You can decorate this any way you want. And I also want to show you another kind of schedule. This schedule is done in digital time. I really like that. I do like the analog clocks. Those are very important for kids to learn. But I think in conjunction, it helps them see the numbers and they know this is o'clock and then they can translate it to the analog clock. Now this is a very simple schedule. Um, you put whatever you want to put on yours. This is just an example. So here you can see I have the times and then I have uh, what your child can do. Also, if you don't want things to be permanent, well, you can go ahead and have different activity uh, cards. And so they can grab the card and, and put it um, where it needs to go. Now, there's going to be things that your child must do every day. They've got to brush their teeth. They've got to have breakfast. They've got to play outside. There's all kinds of things they need to read. But there can also be some things that they choose. And I love that where the card comes in because if they have something that they would really like to do and maybe they have a choice time card in there that you can slip in. It's very beneficial to talk to your child about what they did in the past, just a day or two, and what they're going to do in the future. That means in the next hour or maybe the next day. But always remember, there are hiccups to any plans. We have definitely learned that these days. So it's up to you to model how you want your child to behave when a plan does not go accordingly. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you are looking for more books that help teach time and its concepts, check out What's the Time, Mr. Wolf? by Debbie Gliori and What's the Time, Little Wolf? by Ian Wybrow. And five minutes, that's a lot of time. No, it's not. Yes, it is, by Elizabeth Garten Scanlon. These books and many more are available for no contact checkout. And if you're not sure what books to get that teach time or you're looking for a new author or genre, you can check out the Library Personal Shopper. Just fill in the form online and a librarian will pull books just for you. Thanks for watching.